Um, Ireland is doing good. Uh, last few days is a little bit windy, but weather is awesome. Cheers, guys. Cheers, my friend. And uh, we are officially opening tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, first day? Yeah, tomorrow, we first day, uh, allowed to work in studios. How long was your lockdown? Since March. So, like, last one week, 10 days, we are very busy with, you know, changing the decorations and getting ready for this sickness and, you know, extra signs and extra this and extra that. But you know yourself, in, in this industry, we all have everything we need, actually. Absolutely. Masks, aprons, everything we have. So you start again with, with work. How, how did you spend the lockdown? Did you draw or did you just enjoy the, the countryside living? Well, as you know me, um, I, I'm really doing multiple stuff. I'm, you know, I do everything else. So um, I, I, first, first one week I did drew and everything else, but then I realized I have so many nice things around me. So um, I spent my time mostly training or get busy with my animals like i have dogs and horses and everything so nice. then i end up buying a motocross for myself i'm just i was in the forest doing my own thing to be honest i didn't mix with anybody i was really enjoying my own company but then i start feeling itchy i'm like i have to see somebody <laughs> you know because I am over social, as you know me, so um, I don't know, it was really good, but I had also a lot of time to think about a lot of things, you know, mm -hmm. so. The Shire, the Shire horse you have, that, that's, you sent me, sent me a picture a couple of weeks ago with your horse and your horse is way bigger than you. Oh yeah, he's he's so funny. He's like my dog, but he's more <laughs> clever. Okay. What's the first tattoo you're doing now when the lockdown's over? And As usual, you don't know which client you will have first, or is it like just like you're I know I have it? actually I'm tattooing one of my friends who passed away recently. Uh, his son wants his father's portrait, so that's going to be a little bit emotional. Uh, because he was a good friend, he was around my age, he passed away, unfortunately, with uh, some um, bizarre accident anyway. But um, I'm going to tattoo his son, he's only 20, and he wants his father's portrait, so Meaningful it's um, my first tattoo. Wow. So you got a very really heavy really start. First tattoo. Yeah, and, you yeah, and I'm really all. eager to do it because when his son born, I tattoo him for his son he got his son's baby picture on him and everything so now i said to him today look have you got like that for the first father. two after three months yeah, yeah. 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 now he i'm gonna ask you his thing. son and the boy like he grew up on my hand he was a tiny yeah. little thing now he's huge muscular guy he calls me bro and i'm like oh my god you were it little slut like man it's like you're closing the circle yeah like you tattoo yeah actually yeah. yeah it's yeah so it's it gonna be a little bit emotional our, time our job is as well for how many yeah people. so now he's like i want you to do it and you're my father's friend and he even gave me the portraits today like three different portraits he says you pick one and i'm like oh my god <laughs> it's weird things but mm. you guys all know you're tattooing so it's weird relation in your you know, show. And very, very, I have yeah. most of them such very meaningful. You're closing the circle. That's beautiful. But usually I don't make much plans. I'm a pleaser. I just go by your requiring stuff instead of making stuff and try to sell it. I just listen you and I just try to please you. That's how I do. So I have a lot of clients lined up. Excited projects are coming. A lot of large pieces I took. I'm excited. I'm excited. So that it was super great chatting with you. It was great to see you. Well, uh, thanks bye, for buddy. having me, guys. I miss you all. Miss we you miss too, you, miss too, you buddy. back. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. bye.